Hello and welcome. My name is Ezra Ndwandwe and thank you for joining us. We're chatting to yet another recipient of the uh, scholarship from Gibbs. Uh, Elizabeth James is joining us to tell us about how she feels about having been chosen and also what her thoughts and uh, her views are about the MBA program. Lizzie, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. You've had a very colorful career. Oh, yeah. I mean, from flirting with marketing <laughs> to psychology <laughs> and now an MBA and IT as yes. well, I might add. Yes. How did you feel when you were told that you had actually received the, the bursary? The 7th of December 2012 will go down as the day that I remember as the day I won the lotto. That's how it felt. Um, when my name was announced, I burst into tears and my partner will also burst into tears. I think he was more relieved at the fact that he was going to be paying for the entire MBA. <laughs> there was a little bit of relief there, but it, yeah, it was an amazing experience. The emotions ran high. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm incredible. As Londi said, I'm incredibly grateful to Gibbs. Thank you so much for the opportunity. An MBA, I mean, of all other programs that you could have pursued, why an MBA? And why it gives? Okay, why the MBA? Um, I worked for an independent Apple Mac reseller for seven years, yeah. and during my employee there, I was lucky enough to work in marketing, logistics, human resources, and finance. And it was there that I discovered my passion for business. And yes, while I became a jack, jack, jack of all trades, um, I wanted to learn or well, get uh, learn more about those those tasks, those skills that put you ahead of the rest. And um, obviously looking at the Gibbs curriculum, that's exactly what they do. They teach you how to be a good business leader, how to be a good business manager. They teach you everything from microeconomics to finance to marketing um, to business management. And they give you the core skills that you need to become a leader in South Africa today. Mm. But also, I mean, from a perspective of a holistic approach to business, I suppose Gibbs would offer you that. What is the one thing that you believe you want to take out of this program? The key thing that I have found from many people who have been through Gibbs is that they speak of the Gibbs experience. Yeah. You come to Gibbs not to learn the theory because you can pick up a textbook anywhere and do that yourself. It's the experience that has meaning. The people that you interact with in class, they are incredibly intelligent, very colorful personalities. Um, we're like-minded individuals. We all have a passion for business. We're here to learn. And we all share our experiences. So we therefore learn from each other. That's the one thing. And the second thing is you're getting to network with managing directors. I mean, in our lead program, we had a managing director from Deutsche Bank and we had the marketing manager from Nando's. <clears throat> you have that type of caliber of person in the class with you. So you cannot, do anything but learn from them. And it's, it's incre an incredibly fruitful experience. What do you think is the one thing that um, once you've left and, and have, of course, uh, of course have achieved <laughs> the program, yes. once you've left and you would come back to Gibbs and, and give them as feedback, um, uh, you've been in the program for how long now? Four it's weeks? Four weeks, and yes. And I'm sure you, you're thinking, my goodness, this is rather an intense program. <laughs> if you were to tell them this, mm. this is the one thing that I believe you can improve right now in four improve. weeks, what do you think? Yeah. Oh, my word. Not really? No. It's, I can't think it's, of anything now. I've likened it to a lightning fast, it's lightning fast ordered chaos. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, I mean, you get thrown together and there's so much energy and everybody is so dedicated to learning. Mm. And the level of um, the, the level of management it gives, the way that they put the program together, the the caliber of the lectures that we're dealing with, everything is just so well done. It's like a well-oiled machine, and you'd expect that because Gibbs is known as one of the leading business schools. And I mean, at this point in time, they're rated 60 out of 60 out of 100. Last year they were 67, so they've moved up seven places, wow. and they've been rated by the Financial Times. Yeah. Um, so that's one of the reasons I actually chose Gibbs. Obviously, looking at the ratings of business schools in South Africa, it was between Gibbs and um, the business school in Cape Town. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, granted, the business school in Cape Town is a slightly cheaper course. But if you take into account that the fact, the fact that you have to consider traveling expenses, right. living expenses, right. and the it fact that you don't have your support group, I don't have my family in Cape Town, mm -hmm. it's a no-brainer. Gibbs was the institution that I wanted to be at. But Liz, uh, you, you, you sound like somebody that's very driven. <laughs> Do you demand too much of yourself, you think? I have, I, I tend to set very high standards for myself. I think I can thank my father <laughs> for that. <laughs> uh -huh. He values, he values success and achievement. My dad's a vet. 
Um, my mom's a teacher. I have twin brothers who are eight years older than me. Right. One is a doctor and one is an artist. Right. So I've had this dualism in my life the whole time. You have that left brain, right brain right. kind of duality that I deal with. Um, so I think because dad has set such high standards, I too have followed in his steps. Yeah. And I want to be good at business. I don't want to be good. I want to be great at business. Yeah. I want to be one of those females who's awarded entrepreneurship, you know, a female entrepreneur of the, of the year. Wow. Um, that's where I'm going. But, I mean, you, you've started with that. You've just launched a management um, consulting have. company, yes, haven't I, you? Yeah, I have indeed. What, what are you going to do now that the studies are really going to demand of your time? Yes. You're going to be time starved. Yes. Quite frankly. I am. Yeah. <laughs> What I'm actually doing, why I launched it before I started at Gibbs, was I wanted to take the knowledge that I gained from Gibbs and apply it to my business. Mm -hmm. So I'm almost using it as a case study to learn what I'm, well, to apply what I'm learning from Gibbs and, you know, apply it in the real world and see what happens. Granted, they often say that entrepreneurs, you know, you, you start businesses, you shut them down if they're not operating properly. Mm -hmm. you, you're given the insight to realize whether a business is worth continuing or not. Yeah. I'm using Brightbird as a platform to launch my new skills. Right. Where they take me, I'm not sure yet. It's still early days. But the reason for Brightbird um, is that I want, I'm interested in business process reengineering mm -hmm. and specifically in strategic renewal. And that was sparked my brother's an artist. Mm -hmm. My brother's an artist who is incredibly talented, but he, he lives from hand to mouth. Mm -hmm. And I'm at that point where I'm tired of seeing him do that and I want to assist him by feeding him skills that he doesn't have um, and show him how to build a brand, market himself, um, teach him good financial acumen. Right. All of those skills that you need to run a good business, I want to package that for him and give that to him. And that's just one of the pieces of Brightbird and why Brightbird was launched. Lizzie, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you well so much. Well done and the best of luck Thank you. with this program. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Gibbs. Thank you.